What's going on guys? It's Spot the Aussie here with Season 2 of our Championship with Dragon Team China Racing. Bit of a tongue twister there. We are in round 11 of 11. It's the final round. We're currently leading the Championship in the Drivers Constructors Championship by 33 points. We are currently coming first and third in the overall driver standings. And the whole idea today is that I have set Alice Wood, who's coming third, with the better parts. The better gearbox, the better front wing. We've actually designed a new front wing just for this race because it is the only race where a front wing is crucial. So we designed one just for Alice's car. Uh, the engine components, the suspension, it has all been moved. All the good parts has been moved from Dallas Huff, who's our number one driver, into Wood to try and get Wood up into a position where she wins that race or comes second enough to beat Tyler. Now, in order to beat Tyler, she will need to... I don't know, beat him by 13 positions, it is one point for each position. So 13 positions is what is required to do that in this race. Now as you can see in practice, guess what? First time I've ever done it, both cars. Excellent, excellent, excellent for driver feedback. Car balance, downforce, excellent handling, excellent speed balance is excellent. Now with our tire choice, we're going to go to super soft, which lasts 8 to 10 laps. Fuel option, we're going to go 7 laps. We're going to go to the full seven. Now, usually someone's going to look at this and say, well, you've got a 17 lap race, as you can see here. Why would you not break it up into six, six, six? And that is because most cars are probably going to pit on the six lap. I want Wood to go that extra lap, get a bit of free air, because that is our strategy lately. When it is in these reverse grids, we're going to be starting 20th and 18th. If we start off in 18th and 20th with a reverse grid, and we go that one extra lap, we get a bit of a free air for Wood to really put down a fast lap to finish on, and then hopefully jump cars as they come into the pits. So that is why we are doing that. As for Ackman, only gonna be running six laps of fuel. The thinking there is that I don't wanna double stack the cars, and if they're on the same fuel strategy, starting the same grid areas, you know, 18th to 20th, they are gonna to have to double stack, and that is a big no-no for everyone. As for driving strategy, because we want them to go the full distance, the seven laps, and also seven um, what the full eight, seven, six laps in the tires. We're going to start them off with neutral for both and then just see how the wear and tear goes. If we have to drag them up, we will. What you might notice at the start of this race is that we are going to fall back a little bit in terms of not being able to be competitive in, in, in jumping other cars and overtaking. Willing to take that risk. This is the field for now. Evans first, Anna second, Rogers second, third, Gatto fourth, Valdez, Diaz, Van Annen, El Sada, Cavalcanti, Costa, I've asked this every video. Who do you think is going to win this race? Who do you think is going to win? And do you think I'm going to have what it takes in order to get Alice enough ahead of Tyler? Now, that's really dependent upon how Tyler goes in this race. If Tyler has a cracking race, obviously, she has to finish, what is it, 12th or above in order to, well, technically 13th or above in order to secure second in the championship. But here is hoping that we... Uh, are able to get around that. And also know that you get the fastest lap as a bonus two points. So we might try to go to it for a faster lap in order to get around. Wood gets off to a very slow start and blocks Ahmed as a result. And this is just going to be a real big tangle to try and sort out where we are on the grid. As I mentioned earlier, everyone skips away from us to begin with. It is unbelievable. Now, sometimes in the past, I have allowed teammates to go through. I've allowed Ahmed to go under Wood. But we don't want to do that. We want Wood to come out ahead, giving, him, giving her the better cards and the season. This will probably be her last drive for our team before we move her around. Her contract finishes after this race. Probably not going to renew it. Uh, we have secured first spot, provided we don't have two DNFs, which aren't going to happen. And by securing that, we move up into the European Championship from the third tier Asian Championship, which we're currently racing in, to the second tier. And as you can see, we are currently struggling for pace. We are struggling big time for pace. This is the first time I've seen our two cars be pulled that far back. And I think it's because we are running much greater fuel and we are running a very neutral strategy. Let's go through the pack. Anna, very aggressive overtake on the engine mode. Rogers, same. Uh, sorry, Evans, Rogers, Diaz, Valdez, Shah, Gatto, Van Adden, Gerard, Cavalcanti, Sada, Costa, John Stodder, Kifuis, Strambi, 
Tyler and ourselves. As you can see, everyone bar us is running very aggressively. That means they're going to have to pit. Now even look at Tyler. She has used up 30% of her tyres in about one and a half laps. Possibly because she's had to lock up at some stage. No, everyone is. Everyone's very aggressive in the blocks. Now that's very good for us because we want them to go to differing strategies where they pit much earlier. If that means they're going to pit on lap 5 or 6, so be it. And they're going to have to do 3 strategies. I'm happy to do 2. So let's see what happens. Tyler up in a 14th. That's not what we want to see. And Ford back in a 20th, which is also not what we want to see. Tyler being able to fight her way up to the front and currently in a position where she's now tangled with a few people. It looks like it's a class to fuck in the moment. Campbell Canty having a technical issue holding up the pack. So as Antonov here is currently having a technical issue and it's holding up the whole pack and everyone's just going you know, to assemble around there. Does Tyler get through? Tyler does get through the 12th and that's bad because that's going to release her from us trying to and tangle back onto that train. Not too far ahead though. Anything can happen this race. It seems to be a longer distance race than the races we've raced previously. Just by maybe a couple of laps because they are... The last lap, we're lapping in about 1 minute 45. Usually we lap about 130, 120. And we don't usually do 17 laps. So this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a game of attrition. We really have to monitor our tyre use versus our fuel. Try and get the most out of it. Looks like a couple of people have already pitted. As you can see, Wood moves up in the 14th. Ackman in the 16th. So not that too far behind Tyler at the moment. But um, yeah, I don't know. Tyler looking on 29% of tyre usage. I think a lot of people are going to be stopping now. A lot of people are going to have to do three stops, I think. Except for us. Um, starting off conservatively. So this is where the strategy where my management comes into play. That topples these other guys. I don't know. Is it worth it? Pro probably not because we're not that great of a distance behind them. We might want to keep checking our condition of our components because being a longer race they will start to be used a little bit more woods front wing 72 percent something to keep an eye on tyler oh my god are you kidding me tyler now crashes out on the track is that mean she's going to be completely off let's have a look get out of there get out of there tyler has crashed and she is out of the race she has been bogged into the sandpit i cannot believe it ladies and gentlemen tyler has officially bogged herself which means that if if wood can finish Oh, there's a safety car. We should have jumped in. We will jump in next lap. We will jump in next lap. If we were watching that a little bit closer for that safety car, I think it literally just came out as everyone else has pitted. So we're going to actually go all the way to the back of the grid. And everyone's going to have a fresh car to begin with. This is not what we wanted. Now, do we want to stay out on these tyres to go one less stop? Uh, I think we will go on the pits. I think we're going to have to go on the pits and just get everyone on the same strategy. Let's just walk this around. I can't believe that. That is the first time we've said that. We have jinxed Tyler into crashing. Let's make sure we get everyone underway. If they double stack, it's not going to matter because we will catch back up to that train on the safety car. As for fuel, let's fill it all the way up. We are going seven laps just to be safe for wood. As for the strategy, it's going to be a fast stop. You know what? I'm going to fix the component. Because we're already there, why not? Why not do that? Is there anyone else to fix? Nope. Let's not fix anything else. Rear wing, probably not worth it. You know what? Let's just fix it. The rear wing as well. Because as the parts deteriorate ever so little bit, the performance of them goes down with it as well. So let's do a complete stop just for things that we need. We don't really want to fix the engine. Front wing we do. Rear wing we do as well. Brakes mm, fix up the suspension. If it's one more lap, the safety car moves so slow, as you can tell. What are we going to do for Dalton? Same story. Let me just redo that pit. I just want to make sure we get it all right. In. Yeah, why not do the engine one over there? 15 seconds is such a long time. Yeah, why not? I think we're going to get away. I just want them to get back on this pack and have their cars in the optimum range. As for Dalton, pit as well. He's going to go to soft fuel. Let's just go to 6.2 for him. That's for parts. Let's just fix the front wing. 
And that's all because he's going to have to double stack. Now, this is the only time that I will double stack is when we're behind a safety car because we're going to have to go in anyway and we're going to have to go to the back of the pack. So we have lost our advantage. Everyone else is pretty much coming up with a brand new car. As you can see, the way the pits has worked, except for those people who pitted earlier like Ben Annan and answered up. So we have got our work cut out for us. We still have to come in... What do we have to do for wood? I believe, let's just watch the stop as it happens. As you can see, there's a double stack right now, so... Um, there will be enough time for both cars to come and they go so, so much slower. I probably could have done a few more fixes, to be honest. And as they come out, I'm going to get them to go on a low backup driving system, just to keep their tyres in check so they're not using them at all. Uh, look at that stop, how long is it taking? Man, I actually took a lot longer than I thought, 41 second stop. And Alatov is going to come out as well. Front wing, good, good, good. Thank you, mechanics, for letting us go out. Where is the safety car now? Just around midway of the track. Now, technically, we could have done a little bit more there. Um, that's something to note next time. The safety car is much slower than you think. Uh, it's great news for us. We are coming out with pretty much brand new cars to some degree. I could have fixed the disc. That's all right. The main thing is they're going to be in a much better much better uh, position than the rest of the field when it comes to their reliability but we do have our work cut out for us because wood needs to come how does it work it needs to come seventh or above very possible in this race work cut out for us needs to get 11th places in order to do that yeah i can't believe that of the person who crashes it's going to be tyler so, as you can see, the t the tyres still get used while they're down. So they're down to 90%, which means they might do two stops still, while we will only have to do one. Let's move everything back up to medium. Medium while we get this race underway, Anna gets away with a good start. Evans in third is going to be a bit of a roadblock, as he always is, and it's going to be complete crunch for the rest of the field who've got coming through. Can we follow a mid marker just to watch everyone as they come through? Yes, we can. Van Annen. Can I just say, this is actually one of my favourite tracks. It's not part of the original European series, because it's uh, in China, but this is actually one of my favourite tracks, because it's just very... It's very fast, but it's very slow, so there's a very... Uh, it takes a lot of strategy to get this track correct, because you, you speed up, and then you slow down. And what I mean by strategy is just the car setup. Getting it in that right window um, was a little bit difficult. I did get both cars in excellent, because I played around with it a little bit. But as you can see, you go fast, and then you go slow, and there's a lot of chicanes. So you can look on this map and think, oh yeah, I just need the gears to be very high. I just need the gears to be um, in their high optimum range. But the drivers will come back and the fear will be negative if you put that gear range in 100%. Because they seem to come around these slow corners and they get and they take a while to come out of them. And then they've got these fast sweepers. But they, it does slow the car enough for it to be a bit of a problem. Cavalcanti now dropping behind the rest of the field. Arkman and Wood, I'm going to let them fight for position. Now they're complaining that their tyres are super low, so let's put them both into push. As you can see, the tyre temps are really low. I thought would, I would have thought by now, you can see the track's actually only 6 degrees. It is about to jump up, but the grip on the track is getting higher and higher. It's now 7 degrees, so let's start attacking both sets of tyres. Start getting the tyre temps up, and when they get into that higher range a little bit, I might just put them back to medium. see how we go. Now it is going to be really difficult to get through this pack as you can see. Up mid, moving up mid 16th. Wood still coming 19th, still coming last. Cavalcanti coming back on the attack there. Tires are finally starting to come in off range. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you leave them too low they will start to grain and you'll start to lose percentage faster than you would if they're in the optimum range purely because of the temperature and that's because China is very cold today for our race. Now as you can see no one's really getting away, no one's really pushing up. We could probably pit, get some fresh air, come out for another stop but we want to try and go the distance to only live at one more stop 
I feel like most of these guys will do too if they're not already going to stop this next lap. It's just a jungle out there at the moment. It is going to be a struggle to get through. Tires seem to be being used up very fast, so let's get him back. Wood's locked up her tire at some point. To move back into 38%, Wood has eaten up her tire at somewhere on the track. She is locked up. Fortunately, move that all the way around. That means that's going to change our strategy. I'm going to go to attack mode and push, and we're going to pit next lap for Wood because that tire usage, when it gets below 25%, that's when the times really start to deteriorate from the car. So, Dalton also moving down into 37%. Both cars have just dropped. I'm going to put you back in a conserve mode. Fuel burn, high. That's very strange and very suspicious. It's like both cars had accidentally locked up. Let's look at the data center. Is there a commentary for you to say that? There's nothing really to say that. Antov is locked up. Mm, no. But what you'll notice, if you have a big drop in terms of time percentage, it's usually because you'll see a lock up, like white smoke will come up as they lock the tires up, and that will form the tire into a bit of a 50 cent piece. And wood is going to pick this lap. So we are going to go to fresh set of tires. We're going to have enough fuel just to go all the way around. Hopefully, I don't lock up anymore in between this race. It's a little bit unfortunate. We're still battling with these slower cars trying to get the field. But it is pretty difficult, as I said. It's not that easy once you're fighting them for position. Ford forces a way through just to come into the pits in front of them. Might be worth it. Let's look at how Wood comes out. Uh, as for Dalantine, let's get you to pit. Let's go to Super Soft while I still remember. Let's go to the full range of... Uh, fuel available, tie choice new, cool. And wood, you're gonna have to go to me. You're gonna have to push your fuel all around as much as possible. Can go back to me. Wow, there is a cluster of cars coming out. Wood comes out in 13th and is currently being pushed out. All the way back into 15th position. She got the door shuttered by John Stoddart. There was a double stack. Surely someone's gonna get penalized for tapping away. And Cavalcanti moves underneath wood. It's going to be very difficult to try and get that 7th position, but we are doing everything correct. We've got the tyres, driving salt and engine motor medium. Hopefully some of these other cars start to slow down a little bit. How is Ackman going here? He's coming in the pits right now. His tyres just hit 25%, so that's exactly where we wanted them to be. As you can see, Wood has left the pits with the tyre temperature in the optimum range which is great because I think when they come out in the new set, they usually go there. But behind the safety car, they would have really cooled down. As you can see, that is where we want them to sit. So medium, actually high mode for up mode because he has one lap of extra fuel that he doesn't need. Where's he going to come out? He's going to come out all the way in ninth. By having one extra lap, he jumps the queue that much. That's how big of a difference that can make when that happens. So Wood, now going to be fighting for a 7th position. She needs 9 positions. She needs to be able to gain 9 positions and the field is not going to let that job be easy. She moves into 15th, goes underneath John Stoddard who got stalled the last lap. John Stoddard's actually going to go back on the attack the next lap. How are we going? This is going to be a nightmare for us, isn't it? Wood 15th. Wood struggling at the moment. Wood up to 15th position. Dalantov, we're just going to make sure the fuel is kept in lingo. The fuel and the tyres are kept in lingo. As you can see, they're starting to burn up, and the temperatures have dropped significantly. Only 7 degrees on the track, but the, the track temp, the track grip is just continually rising. There's been no clouds today in this race. All I can really hope for here is that some of these front cars start to have technical issues and they start to back themselves up in towards us near the end of this race. We only have about five laps to go. The likelihood of that happening becoming more unlikely with each lap. Akhmad sets a personal best. One row. Wood. Look at the tire usage. I'm going to have to go to backup mode, conservative mode, because at the moment you are using your tires up a little bit more than we wanted to. 14th currently. Let's move in to hear the engines. Dalatav how's his time's gone. He's fastest in first sec sectors one and two. 
So he's currently set his fastest time of the race. Not the fastest lap of the race, but the fastest sector. Let's have a look what time he does. Cool, he just sets the personal best lap. How's everyone else lap time? 141. So he's the second fastest car out there, only behind the leader. And he should continue to keep Rogers, even though he's five seconds off the road. Wood back in 14th. Flailing at this race. This race is going beyond Wood, despite having the better car than Ahmed, not being able to make the most of it, unfortunately. And uh, like I said, guys, it's not easy, you know? Wood getting pushed back into 16th now, being under the 15th. When the cars don't have a lot of um, engine power, that's when you're going to struggle. And that's where these rest of the cars seem to be benefiting. We're down in the 17th. I don't see much changing for Wood to be able to jump unless we see a lot of cars start to come off. And how is Wood going in terms of the fuel? Put her into high mode. Put her into neutral. How's everyone else going? What is their strategy? High? Ahmed's been able to make the most of it. He's moved up into ninth position. Wood still struggling. 60% on tyres. Been pushed back into a neutral setup. Donald moving up in eighth. I cannot believe this. This is exactly the opposite of what we wanted. I would have been happy if Donald Tug was still fighting the position. But it looks look at the race. All the guys who usually struggle have come on in this last race. Where the guys who are usually at the front, the Costas, the Tylers, out, are struggling. Mellow blowing everyone away at the moment. That saved the guard didn't come into our favour and we have excess fuel so let's start burning it and we also have excess tyres so let's go back on the prowl seeing it 15% and do you still have excess fuel? I don't really think so yeah I think he does he's about, he's about halfway around the track let's just watch it when it comes back around next time wood 17th the only way we could be saved here is if someone has a technical issue and it pushes everyone back like that. Like we see some really big technical issues going through the field. And we can see that at the moment, but there's probably not going to be 10 cars that are going to do that. I'm just shocked to see everyone's car be developed that great. Wood doing a 146 last lap. One of the slowest cars out on the grid. This means we're not going to get our 1-2 like uh, we thought we were going to in the last round. In fact, we're not going to get our $1 million bonus. We are that far off the, off the target. It is not even funny. Let's push you back into medium. You are not going to catch anyone, so there's no point in straining the car. Actually, you know what? You might actually catch someone, and yes, you do. Look at how far the field's going to come back towards you. You might even move up into fifth because of that. As for wood, where are you on the track? halfway through you can keep pushing in fact let's go to overtake mode into 16th I don't think that's going to happen Ahmed's going to finish off in 4th he scoots past Gerard if we had one more lap I think Wood might have been able to catch a few of these guys as they started to break apart go back into medium mode just to finish off the race yeah, it's been really unfortunate, guys, not to get first and second in the championship. But, you know, I, I believe Wood will still finish. Actually, you know what? I don't know where Wood finishes, given that um, that was a pretty mediocre result for the last round. Let's put it in fast forward mode. Couple Cavalcanti finishes. Santa Ana finishes with reliability issues. So, we... Um, we literally got caught up talking about Tyler crashing, safety car came out, missed the go to come in, safety car got pulled out I think relatively late, I'll probably have to watch the remake, replay to make sure, but as you can see, being one stop behind the safety car can really screw with you. 
Let's have a look at the live timings. Who got the fastest in the lap? See, we're not that far off the pace. We did 140.4. Yeah, we're still about more than a second off the pace there. Wood just continually caught up in traffic that whole race. How are the standings going? Wood finishes in third purely by five points. That would have been awesome to sneak up on. Um, pretty much the pre-season prep, but I don't want to call that the start of season three. I'd rather just let that be the end of season two and then start season three straight into the racing for you guys. So be sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a spot, the Yossi production for season two. And thank you so much for your commitment and watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your feedback. I literally, I read every single comment and I reply to every single comment you guys leave. So thank you so much. And if you like this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll check with you guys really shortly.